Okay, so then, <laughs> okay, so for your whole muscle, the same principle applies to contract one fiber as it does the whole muscle. So when the contraction produces muscle tension, right, the forces exerted on the load or object can be moved. So right when that muscle creates tension, we can do things like pick up our phone or squat really heavy weight or um, lay on the ground, okay? So, um, so everything that happens to one muscle will happen to the whole muscle as long as that is that muscle is being stimulated that way. All right, so then we're going to talk about those kinds of contractions. So isometric means there's no shortening of the fibers, right? Um, this happens, the tension doesn't exceed the load. So this is when you're trying to pick up something really, really heavy and you can't, right? When you like, <laughs> and then nothing, okay? However, isotonic is when the muscle does shorten, so we are able to make that full contraction and the tension exceeds the load, right? So this is when we can pick something up, okay? So the force and duration of any contraction depends on the stimulus and the intensity. So we're talking about how long and how much um, stimulation that muscle is getting to continue to contract. So maybe it's for a split second or maybe it's for a long time, right? When you're holding a plank, the force and duration of your contraction is gonna be much, much longer because you're holding it, right? And so that stimulus is gonna continue. Okay, so then each muscle is served by a motor nerve, right, which contains the axon, right, that axon head and the axon terminal of up to hundreds of motor neurons, okay? The axons branch into axon terminals, each of which forms that neuromuscular junction with a single muscle fiber. So what that means is this. Hey, so many little silly buttons. Okay, so this really, oh, it's very blurry. Okay, so no. I want it to be not as blurry, please. Okay, this is better. All right, so this is the whole muscle, okay? And then these are your, this is a motor, this is a somatic motor neuron, right? And we, you'll learn about myelin sheets and all that jazz. So each of these, right, is an, ax, or is an axon and then it ends up going to an axon terminal, which touches a muscle. So each, every individual fiber and every individual thing has its own axon terminal which has its own neuromuscular junction. So every single little piece has to be touched so that it can be stimulated. Does that make sense? So they all form one of these, oh, they all form, right? So each one of those forms one of these, right? And it touches a muscle. So that's literally all that that paragraph is saying is that we have to innervate these um, muscles so that they can be, so that they have an axon so they can be stimulated. So a motor unit is the motor neuron and all the fibers it supplies. So it's whatever neuron and every single fiber that it supplies an electrical impulse to. So, 
Home motor unit is just that whole bundle that um, it innervates. So the smaller the number of fibers, the greater the uh, fine control. So the less number of fibers is how is the very small control. So your hands and your eyes, where it's very minute movement does a lot, is that fine control. Whereas your quad muscle has a lot less, um, has a lot, it's not as fine control because it's just one big muscle and there's lots of big fibers there. Okay. And we're just doing one thing, right? So muscle fiber from a motor unit are spread throughout the whole muscle so that the stimulation of a single motor unit can cause only a weak contraction. So what I, so what that's saying is I don't have to send a signal to every single fiber, right? That's, that innervates a muscle. I can send it to a couple, right? Maybe I just send it to my calf. Maybe, maybe there's certain parts of my calf that I wanna stimulate and I'm only sending it to a couple muscle fibers. So it's a pretty weak contraction, right? So it's pretty, it's pretty light. Whereas if I'm doing calf raises, I'm doing the whole thing. I want whole gains and we're going really hard and we want all the muscle to be contracting and be a really strong contraction. Does that make sense? 